Good afternoon, students. Then my voice is clear. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, in the last session, uh, we discussed regarding uh, strategies for enhancement of food production. Today, we are going to discuss about the concept that is microbes in human welfare. Regarding the microorganisms, we are studying from class 8, right? And we know certain basic concepts regarding microorganisms like examples, amoeba, uh, other bacteria, as well as fungi, right? Protozoans. We know its classification. We know certain processes uh, like fermentation. Then uh, 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 whatever uh, the fungi attacks during winter season. So these all we know. And we are very much aware regarding the diseases what we suffer from like common cold or presently uh, the uh, there is a medical challenge about uh, corona. So these all diseases that usually origin from the microorganisms, right? So today we are going to discuss how microorganisms are helping the human beings in this concept. In this concept, uh, we have to mainly focus on important examples as well as important processes in which of the phenomena in our daily life, those microorganisms are involved. Not like as a class 8 or class 10th, you have to remember. You have to remember specifically, okay, including the uh, scientific names of microorganisms. So today we are going to discuss my microbes in human welfare. Just a minute. I will just share the screen. Okay. Uh, I hope the screen is visible for everyone. Screen a little bit Yes, ma'am. Yeah, good. Now let us proceed with the questions. Yeah. There are certain uh, general questions of biology which are related, not so much related, which are related to biology as well as the competitive exams. So we will solve 10 questions among that. Then we will move to microorganisms, that is microbes in human welfare. Yaakendre, 10 questions add maadi dini general At last we may not get time, okay, to solve general biology questions. That is why 5 to 10 questions we will solve on general concept. Then we will move on to the specific content, fine? Now. The first question of today goes like this. Bioenergy is the energy obtained from option A, coal, option B, natural gas, option C, alcohol, option D, biomass. Who are going to answer first? Let me check the answers of YouTube students too. Fine. Okay. Option D, Lohit, option D, Kancharaj, S, Harshita. Fine. Okay, why only few messages today? Bioenergy is the energy obtained from. So they asked how we will get bioenergy. Okay, most of you answered it. Correctly, and from the YouTube student, the answer is option D, biomass. Very good. Let me check the answer. The right answer is option D, and that is biomass. Can anyone define biomass? What do you mean by biomass? Don't say any mass of biology is called biomass. What is biomass, anyone? Yes. What is biomass? Yes, 
the total quantity or weight of organism in a given area or volume okay the organic matter of a living organism right good uh let us proceed with the second question which of the following are the types of bioenergy so bioenergy are types ide alva so kelagade options kottidare ee options alli yavu bioenergy ya vidhagalu anta helbe option a animal energy and chemical energy option b solar energy and nuclear energy option c fossil fuels and solar energy and d animal energy and biofuels i got first three messages good logit option d kanchana raj option d then saumya option d right akash yes harshita good many of you following the method of answering great yeah ramya option d animal energy and biofuels yes the right answer here is option d that is animal energy and biofuels see here bioenergy means what it is the energy obtained from the biological resources that is wastes as well as a waste of the organisms and their residues great the answer is correct from youtube student is also option d good this includes animal energy as well as biofuels right now let us proceed with the third question rising crops for the production of ethanol remember rising the crops for the production of ethanol what is that process is called as energy plantation energy cropping c agro technology d biomass production ethanol na produce madodakke certain crops na grow martevi matte cultivate martevi so a process ge a method ge en anta karitare anta helidare so what is the correct answer lohit option b yes harshita option b kanchana raj option b akash option b yes many of you will be there i don't know some of you will not speak up also some of you will not message also samrintaj option b saumya option b fine okay so energy cropping is a right answer rising crops for the production of ethanol so here for the production of ethanol fermentation process will be carried out with the help of an organism which is called yeast and then that ethanol or alcohol is separated through distillation process right fourth question what is the social forestry what is the term social forestry a planting different trees in the same area b greening of hills c rising trees on common village lands d planting trees on river banks social forestry andre eno yes okay kanchana raj option b what about others tamrin taj option b tamrins uh, youtube option c saumya option c madhumita option b fine fourth one is option c that is rising trees on common village lands why because for their benefit andre andre halli hatra ne van jaga select maarkondu alli forest na athwa gidaganna belsodrinda adu forest area anta consider agutte adanna villagers andre halli alli yaar jana irtaro avru ತಮಗೆ ಬೇಕಾದ ವುಡ್ ಫೈರ್ ವುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಡರ್ ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಆ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂದ ಉಪಯೋಗ ಪಡ್ಕೋತಾರೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಅಂತ ಸೊಸೈಟಿಗೆ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಗೋ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ನ ಬೆಳೆಸೋದು ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಫೈನ್ ಓಕೆ ಆಕಾಶ್ ಲೋಹಿತ್ ಗುಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಪೈರೋಲೈಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವುಡ್ ಈಲ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಈಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಕೋಹಾಲ್ ಪೈರೋಲೈಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವುಡ್ only eels alcohol true or false lohit option b he said this statement is false s yes, harshita option b samrin taj kanchana raj then saumya fine be fast okay the right uh, uh, option is option b that is false why right? because pyrolysis process of wood yields charcoal pyrolysis of acid 
tar and oil what is pyroly uh, pyrolysis it is the heating of wood it is the heating of wood to a higher temperature in the absence of air just a minute request uh, pushpalata yan padma yan sir lalit like you guys will be present in the class but i did not get any messages nor nor uh, the uh, like your voice through a mic so if you are present we should uh, get to know na you are active it is not just simply sitting and watching a tv program or watching a reality show or something else so please do respond please be interactive and most of you guys i know you will be writing down by writing on down only just message type b or c how much time it needs right please be interactive respond fine uh, next question which of the following options include energy crops energy crops kelagido yava options alli namage energy crops examples ide option a sugarcane potato and tomato option b sugarcane tapioca and okay tapioca and cauliflower sugarcane potato and tapioca and option d millets banana and uh, tomato i got the first message tamrin taj option c lohit option c what about others okay sir lalit option c great thank you uh ramya yen option c harshita option c pratumita option c okay fine what about youtube students option a shashi option c padma yen option c thank you right option c youtube students you guys are correct the option c is the right answer the various energy crops include sugar cane sugar beet potato tapioca and maize energy crops can be also used to produce alcohol and other energy biofuels uh, seventh question which wood is more suitable for fuel light wood high calorific wood spring wood less combustible wood ಯಾವ ಉಡ್ ಯಾವ ಕಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಫ್ಯೂಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಸೂಟೇಬಲ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಲೈಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಗೆ ಅಥವಾ ಹೈ ಕೆಲೋರಫಿಕ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇರೋ ವುಡ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗತ್ತಾ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ವುಡ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗತ್ತಾ ಅಥವಾ ಲೆಸ್ ಕಂಬಸ್ಟಿಬಲ್ ವುಡ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗತ್ತಾ ಅಂತ ಎಸ್ ಪೂರ್ವಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ಕಾಂಚನ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ಪುಷ್ಪಲತಾ ಎನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ಮಧುಮಿತಾ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ಹರ್ಷಿತಾ ಸೌಮ್ಯ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ರಮ್ಯ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ so right option b is a uh, correct answer that is we have to select always high calorific value source for a, as a fuel then producer gas is obtained through the process of fermentation carbonization combustion pyrolysis producer gas is obtained through the process of fermentation carbonization combustion pyrolysis i got two messages samrinta option b sorry option c she said padmayan option b madhumita option b padmayan again change the option a harshita option c harshita a c ramya m option b fine youtube students option c shashi option c pushpalata yan option c very great i like i like this kind of chat like should not get time to the set up my mouth while seeing the answers fine option c that is producer gas is obtained through the process of combustion so option c is a right answer right hydrocarbons were first isolated from a plant latex by which scientist hydrocarbons we know the compounds which contains carbon and hydrogen uh, in a major portion right so it was first isolated isolated and then separate uh, separated from plant latex yava scientist inta anta kelidare option a newton option b kelvin option c krebs option d near okay option b by harshita option d by padma then what about others yes harshita 
ओके पूर्वी ऑप्शन बी मधुमिता ऑप्शन सी सौम्या ऑप्शन बी कांचना राज ऑप्शन बी YouTube students option B. Majority answer is for B. Okay, option B, Pushpalata again, right? So, option B, that is Kelvin is a right answer. Okay, Kelvin utilizing petroleum plants for energy cropping was also suggested by Kelvin. Then question goes like this. Fuel wood is option A based, option B renewable sources of energy, option C non-renewable sources of energy, option D source of biogas. Fuel wood under A, no, and the kill that. Padma option D, very quick answer. Good. What about others? Kashita option B. Yes, Shashi option B, great. YouTube students option D, Purvi option D. Pushpalata, Ramya and Madhumita, Lohit option B. Ramya voted for D. Kanchana option C, Samrintaj option B, fine. So the right answer here is fuel wood is a, a source of, renewable source, source of a biogas it is. The first petro plant was discovered uh, was Capifera Longsdorfi, Euphorbia lateris, <laughs> Catropa, and Calotropis. Petro plant. Okay. Yes, I got 11 messages. Most of you voted for option B. Few of you selected option B, Calotropus. Okay. The right answer is Euphorbia lateris. Euphorbia lateris is a first petro plant. Fine. Charcoal is the commonest source of energy, true or false? Charcoal. Yes, Hanumanta Hosamani. It's true. Okay, it's true. Fine. Right? Uh, fuel Uddai, though. Yeah, true is the right answer. Option, uh, question number 13. Which of the following processes provide both energy as well as manure? Option A, burning of fuel wood. Option B, pyrolysis. Option C, biogas. Option D, gasification of wood. Kanchana Raj, option C. Purvi, option C. Lohit, Shashi, Madhumita, S. Harshita, Padma, Yan. Fine, Harshita, A. Ramya. Okay. Fine, option C is the right answer. Which of the following is not organic waste among the following? Telagade Lodali, Yavu organic waste, Alanta. Option A, animal option waste. D, radioactive option. waste. Great. Option D, radioactive waste is the right answer. And I got the chat answers also as option D. Very easy question and very quick answer. Let us proceed to the 15th question now. Which of the following option does not include bad fuel wood? Mangifera, Bombax, Michaelia, Dalbergia. Bad fuel wood. I got two answers. S. Harshita answered as option B. Purvi voted for option A. Samrintaj voted as option D. Fine. Bad fuel wood.
मोस्ट ऑफ यू आंसर एज ऑप्शन डी ऑप्शन डी गुड फ्यूअल और फायर इंक्लूड उड्स ऑफ अकेशिया अल्बिजिया अडीना टर्मिनेलिया कैशोरिया एंड बैड फायर और फ्यूअल उड इंक्लूड उड्स ऑफ फाइनस मैंफेरा बोम्बैक्स माइकेरिया राइट नेक्स्ट यस सेवेंटीन क्वेश्चन द स्पेसिफिक और the related question of this concepts microbes in human welfare so that questions begins now microbes are only present in hot and humid areas true or false kanchana falls purvi falls tamrintaj pushpalata shashi great madhumita yes all of you answered it correctly option b is a right answer that is it is a false statement because microbes are cosmopolitan sulpa jana yen maartira gotta nan yavaga adu nivu answer e maadalla nivu mic alli helode illa anta keldaga adad next message i will get their answers two questions three questions they will be active after that i am in order bila pa sumne tale tintale somnya option a b nortale yen maartbeku ellaru answers nodkotare ऑप्शन बी इज राइट आंसर अंतर अद्ने मेसेज मतर बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन आर प्रेसेंटिंग इन फ्रंट आफ यू यू हव टू आंसर नहीं बेरे कॉपी मेरे इट्स योर फॉल्ट रईट यू हव टू मेक् यूज आफ इट एंड डोंट वरी नो वन वि स्कोल्ड यू हियर फॉर टेलिंग अ रांग आंसर एक्साम बरता मार्क्स हम बट ट्राइ इट एटीन क्वेश्चन विच आफ द फॉलोइंग इज नाट रिटेड टू मै Oops, kela gade statements kotti dare which is not related to my groups we should say let me see who will answer first let me tell the options now option my groups are not yes is option that option a ma'am fine great option a ma'am okay my groups are not ideal for biotechnology and i got chat answers as option a only majority answers are option a what about youtube students okay fine so option a microbes are not ideal for biotechnology is a wrong statement okay now which of the following is not microbe bacteria protozoa virioids worms yes kelagiro kelagiro options alli yes i couldn't hear option you option d worms 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 okay great thank you samrintaj option d harshita padmayan pushpalata uh, ramya fine option d is a right answer worms which shape of bacteria has been represented in the following diagram option a rod shape option b comma shape option c spiral shape option d spherical shape kanchana raj option a samrita yes. option a okay yes harshita option a ramya option a rod shape what about others be fast anumant option c spiral shape okay madhumita option a harshita a option a fine option a rod shape is a right answer yes Which shape of bacteria has been shown in the following diagram? Again, option A, rod shape. B, comma option shape. D. Option D is correct. Okay, option D. Kanchana Raj uh, told option D. What about others? I got the chant answers also as option D. Very easy question. Very quick responses. Let us proceed with the next question. Twenty-first question. Option D is the right answer. Fine. Following diagram represents diagram इधर अब तो ये रहना indicate मार रखते हैं तो क्या इधर है plate with worms colonies of bacteria on a petri dish onion root cells on a plate cheek cells yes option B option B मैं option B Ramya M option B Kanchana Raj told option B yes okay great thank you option b yes harshita option d okay right answer is option b that is uh, plate with the one 
petri dish with the colonies of microorganisms okay fine yeah 23rd question all microbes are harmful to human kind true or false false ma'am false yeah very tough question 24th question adeno viruses cause option a respiratory infections option b gastric problems option c intestinal perforations option d heart attack option b ma'am option b na gastric problems okay option a ma'am okay chat answers majority they answered as option a and few of them voted for option b so there is a fight between option a and option b some of them suggested option c and youtube students answered as option b okay let us proceed or uh, let me check the answer option a that is respiratory issues or infections adenovirus is the virus which causes common cold conjunctivities okay then bronchitis pneumonia majority when you see the diseases bronchitis common cold so these all are related to respiratory tract so majority infections are for the respiratory tract that is why option a is a right answer they said intestinal tract also but here they have given gastric problem intestinal perforation is totally different so those uh, two options are not So option A is a right answer. That is adeno virus. Twenty sixth question: Which of the following is also known as Baker's yeast? Saccharomyces cerevisiae, Streptococcus pneumoniae. Uh, you can ask Miss Enterides. Let me uh, tell the options, please. Option D, Streptococcus specialis. Yes. Option Option A, ma'am. Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Okay. Purvi answered as option A, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, and I got the answers from the chat box as option A, option B. Majority of them answered as option A. Some of them voted as option B. What about YouTube students? YouTube students voted for option A. Let me check the answer. The right answer is option A, that is Saccharomyces cerevisiae. It is also called as Baker's yeast. and or also called as brewers yeast okay 27th question which of the following gas is responsible for the puffed up appearance of dough a nh3 b co2 c oxygen d methane kya wo gas so puffed up aagate option c option c option 2 co2 ma'am option b ma'am co2 co2 CO2. Okay. Someone said option C, oxygen. So I was right. Okay. Ah, uh, YouTube students, option A. Okay. Option A. Read the question properly. Which of the following gas is used or is released for the puffed up appearance of dough? It is. the right answer is option b that is carbon dioxide next 28 question which of the following enzymes is not produced by baker's yeast baker's yeast in the yav enzyme produce agalla anta option a amylase option b maltase option c zymase option d lactase yes who is going to answer this first yes Um, option D. Option, option D. Lactase. Okay. Kanchana Raj voted for option D. Purvi said option C. What about others? Any other answer? Um, option C. You said option C. Okay. Zymes. Fine. Question A. Ni the yau do produce agar la anta ida yau produce agar te anta alla. Okay. Option D. Lactase. Option E. Man. D. Lactase. Yes, Anumanta. What is your uh, answer? option a ma'am option a i got the answer as a some of them said b some of voted for c and youtube student voted as c let me check the answer who is correct option option d 
is the right answer that is lactase yav do release agalla see here zymase is an enzyme complex that catalyzes the fermentation of sugar into ethanol andre zymase is produced by the yeast amylase matto maltase enirutte it is also released by the enzyme when they will use it to make the bread or any other bakery items now remaining is lactase so lactase is the enzyme which is not released by the yeast so option d is the right answer whoever uh, voted for option d congratulate them yeah then which of the following bacteria are used for, for fermenting idli and dosa don't uh, go and ask your mom yav bacteria hakti amma dosa matte idli hitige anta these are scientific terms option a eukaryotic mesenteroids option b streptococcus thermophiles option c lactobacillus bulgaricus option d lactobacillus acidophilus okay i got only three answers oh my god shashi option, option a kanchanaraj option a option a me option a na okay samrintaj option a s harshita option a yes what about youtube students madhumita option c okay let me check the answer youtube students vote for option c the right answer is option a you can ask it miss interoids okay so this what it does the fermentation of idli demonstrates a leavening action caused by the activity of heterofermentative it is a heterofermentative bacterium which is called lactic acid bacterium l misenteroids okay let us proceed with the next question good try from everyone better luck like next time the first question goes like this what is the full form of lab a lactic acid burette b lactobacillus c lactose bacillus d ma'am lactic option acid bacterium okay kanchana raj voted for option d purvi said option d hanumanta said option d let me check with the chat answers Mathumita option D, Ramya option D. Then who is this? Yes, Harshita option D. Harshita A option D. Someone said option B. YouTube students option D. Lactic acid bacteria. Great. Most of you answered it correctly. Option D is the right answer. Then milk is a better product than curd. Option A true. Option B false. milk is a better product false. than curd false ah huh? false ma'am howda hmm yes harshita padmayan kanchana raj and hanuman hosmani answered in a mic false ma'am you also man answered hanuman answered now okay pushpalata samrintaj harshita padmayan madhumita voted for option a option a chat answers are right okay uh, why because curd is better than milk because it is made by fermenting the milk and it contains live bacteria which are very useful for the human as this topics relate with the human welfare according to this concept you should think option a that is true statement fine uh, 33 question 33rd question which of the following statement is incorrect regarding yogurt yogurt bagge kelagina yav statement to wrong agide anta kelidare option a it is a fermented milk option b mixed with an inoculum containing streptococcus spicalis then spicalis option c preparation takes approximately 4 to 5 hours option d the original flavor of yogurt is of acetaldehyde yes oh my god What is the answer? Oda, okay. Yes, Tarshita, Samrin, Taj, Kanchana, Raj, answer through mic. What about YouTube students? Why I am getting less messages? YouTube students, option C, Ramya, I am option B. Be active, be fast. 
Option B, that is mixed with an inoculum containing streptococcus fecalis. That is a wrong statement. Cow mist is a fermented milk where a mixture of lactic acid, bacteria and yeast are used. Whether this statement is true or false. Think over it and then answer. Simply just don't Option tell me the messages. Option A, true statement. Okay. Hanmanta voted for option A. Option A. Padmayan option A. Okay. Yes, Purvi? Option A, ma'am, true. Panchana Raj uh, told option A, true. Harshita voted as option B, false. What about others? B, fast. Why no messages? Ramya M, option A. Pushpalata N, option B. What about YouTube students? Whether the statement is true or false? Yeah, okay. okay. Fine. So the right answer is option A. It is a true statement. Let us see some of the explanation regarding it. Can anyone can read this? Purvi, can you read the slide? Comis is a typical yeast okay. lactic fermented product that is made with specific strains of lactic acid bacteria, LAB, and yeast. The lactobacillus strains isolated from comis show good performance as probiotic. Okay. So it is a lactic acid fermented product where lactic acid bacteria and yeast are used. One more uh, point you can note here is it shows good performance as probiotic that you have to remember. Fine. Which of the following is not a type of cheese? Yes. yes. Option A, cottage. Option B, tempeh. Option B, octopus. Option B, camembert. Ma'am, option A. Not a type of cheese, Kelly. The cottage cheese. Option A, na. Type of cheese ke lauru. Not a type of cheese and the keli dare. Option C. Huh. Okay. You will not get uh, fine. Cheese under Navi Nuritivali type of cheese under Amul cheese or slice cheese or block cheese. Or... Right, these all we will be knowing. Adi Audu option in line Madhudila. Okay, I got the chat answers as option B only from Harshita. What about others? Answer Madi, Amil Hogana, Cheese Tinante. Kanchanaraj option C. Samrintaj option B. Ramya M option B. Why? B first. Okay, 37th option B, that is tempe is the right answer. Cheese is a pressed and flavored milk curd. Cheese is a pressed and flavored milk curd it is. And more than 2000 varieties of cheese are known. Great. Some of the types include raw cheese, cottage cheese, Swiss cheese, camembert cheese, rock pot cheese. So, the right answer is option B, tempe. Then, which of the following statement is not related to cottage cheese? Option A, ripened soft cheese. Option B, prepared by inoculating skimmed milk first. Option C, renin or chymosin are added. Option D, cheese culture of streptococcus lactis is used. It is not related to cottage cheese. And the that. Option C, ma'am. Renin or chymosin are added. Okay. What about others? Samrintaj option A, Harshita option A, Ramya option C, Pushpalata option A. Be fast. What about YouTube students? Krishi option A. Like Saturday and the Tumba lazy at the Tomorrow you will be having tests, right? Madhumita option C, Samrin touch option B. I think these are previous answers. Fine. 
Let me check with the answer. Option A, that is ripened soft cheese, is a right answer. Uh, cottage milk cheese is a unripened soft cheese. Adu ripened alle alla. Adu unripened soft cheese agide, which is prepared from inoculating skimmed milk with cheese culture of Streptococcus lactis and then renin or chymosin, which is obtained from a fungus source. So these all three are correct regarding cottage cheese and option A is not related because cottage cheese is unripened. Option A is a right answer. Fine. Which of the following is not a type of ripened cheese? Idu ripened cheese Allah. Option A soft cheese. Option B semi-soft cheese. Option C hard cheese. Option D unbreakable cheese. Yes. Option A, ma'am. Option D, yes. Samrintaj, Pushpalata, Yen, Harshita, A. Yes. Option, Option D, ma'am. Ma Unbreakable option cheese. D. Okay. Padma, Yen, Option D. Ramya, M, Option D. Most of you answered it correctly. Option D, that is unbreakable cheese, is the right answer. Ripening cheese is called, carried out to provide cheese with a characteristic texture, flavor and taste. Ripened cheese is under a cheese is given to another than the flavor is at the texture is at the taste is at the there are three types of ripened cheese soft cheese, semi soft, and hard cheese. And the unbreakable cheese and the audu in the so option D is a right answer. Moisture content in soft cheese is about 75 percent. Whether this statement is true or false. Yes. Yes, Harshita, option A. Option A, true. Okay. Ma'am, option A. Option, option A, true. Option A, Kanchanaraj, option A. Samrin Harshita. Okay. Some of you answered as option D. Option D, evade. Option A, fine. Option A, that is, it is a true statement. Soft cheeses, full fat soft cheeses have a moisture content of about 50 to 65 percent and above 67 percent also. That is why 75 and the 40 dare. So it is above 67. It is the right answer. Which of the following helps in ripening of camembert cheese? Yava microorganism, Kelagade Kotiro, Yava microorganism, camembert cheese ripening help agate. Option A, Pencilium Rockforti. Option B, Propenio Bacterium Shermani. Option C, Pencilium Camemberti. Option D, Ligonostic Citroorum. Option B, Mem Propenio Bacterium. Okay. That answers as option C from Shashi Pushpalata. Oted for option B. Then Padma Yen, option B. Pushpalata Yen, option B. Samrintaj, option C. Harsh. A, option C. Okay. Let me check who wins. Option C wins. That is Pencilium Camember T. Okay. Ripening of cheese. Kanchana uh, Raj, can you read out the slide, please? Ripening of cheese is carried out with the help of specific microbes. For example, camembert cheese is ripened with the help of Pencilium camembert. Uh, Requifert cheese and Swiss cheese are ripened with the help of uh, Pencilium Requifert and uh, Propenium bacteria Shermani, respectively. Okay. So here you will get the other question also. Roquefort cheese and Swiss cheese. These are ripened from following organism like Pencilium Roquefort. Bacteria Shermani. Okay, the right answer is option C here. Fine. Which of the following statement is incorrect regarding sausages? Option A, these are fermented meats. Option B, their taste depends upon fermenting agent. Option C, lactic acid bacterium is the least favored bacterium. Option D, lactic acid bacterium preserves sausages. Which of the following statement is wrong? Is not correct regarding sausages and the kaildar. Okay, I got the chat answers. Is Harshit, Harshita, Samrintaj, Purvi. 
Most of you answered it as option C. Who we voted for option B? What about others? What about mm -hmm. YouTube students? Madhumita, option C. Kanchana Raj, option C. Okay. Option C is the right answer. So here, when we go to the uh, explanation, sausages means what these are fermented means, uh, means which possess particular flavor and it tastes depends upon the fermenting agent. So all three options are correct. The most commonly employed microbe is lactic acid bacterium. The bacterium also preserves sausages. So idrally, option C, least favored and the kotidare. So that is a wrong answer. Okay, next, the lab plays no role in the stomach. Whether this statement is true or false, lab plays no role in stomach. Yes, Harshita, option A. Yes. Padma, option N, option B. B. Okay, Purvi, option B. Kanchanaraj, option B. Fine. So, option B, false, is a statement because uh, it plays a very good role in the stomach. 44th question, which of the following statement is not related to toddy? Not related. Prepared by fermentation of coconut water, traditional drink in some parts of northern India, jaggery is produced by boiling it, tea, arak is obtained from toddy. Madhumita answered as option B. Kanchanaraj, option C. Option C, no. Option C. Option C. Okay. Tamrintaj, option B. Purvi, option B. Sorry, option A. Padmayan, option C. Okay. Let me check with the answer. The right answer is option B. Okay. So here, coconut water is fermented to produce a refreshing drink. That refreshing drink is called toddy. It is a traditional drink in southern part of India, not northern India. That is why option B is the right answer. Palm sugar or jaggery is produced by boiling this. That is also correct. Arak is obtained by the distillation of fermented toddy. So, this is option B is the right answer. 45th question, who discovered pasteurization? Very easy question. Options are given below. Tell me the right answer. Option B. Option D, pasture. Okay. Padmayan, option D. Kuchpalata, option D. Raj. Okay, option D. Kanchanaraj, option D. Yes, Harshita, option D. Harshita, A, option D. Option D, use pasture is the right answer. Uh, yeah. And he also discovered, in his work with silkworms, Silkworms, when he was working on silkworms, he developed practices that are still used today for preventing diseases in silkworm eggs. So that is also a contribution of Louis Pasteur, we should know. Which of the following is also known as single cell protein? Option A, single cell protein. Option A, probiotics. Option B, antibiotics. Option C, Multibiotics, option B, uh, option D, synbiotics. Yes. Tamrintaj, option A. Kuspalata, uh, option A. Uh, Anumanta, option A. A. Ashita, A, option A. Kanchana, or Raj, option A. Okay. Probiotics is the right answer. Uh, when we read about probiotics, it is also called as live microbial food. Therefore, a single cell protein is also referred to as probiotics. Single cell proteins are obtained. How they are obtained? By culturing single cell entities, single celled organism. Typically, these proteins are consumed as a dietary supplements by the people. 
fungi bacteria algae either single cell structure or the clusters i mean which live in a colony have one or more forms that are single cell those are cultured and we will get the probiotics from them next question which of the following statement is the only correct statement regarding single cell protein correct statement scp has all the non essential amino acids b only autotrophs are used as scp c fat content is high d the protein content is high only correct statement anta kelidar okay what about the answers b fast why no messages today samrindaj option d harshita a option d yes option d ma'am the protein content is high okay kanchana raj voted for option d padmayan option d very easy question very quick responses option d is the right answer which of the following is used amongst heterotrophs as scp idral kelagedo organism alli ondu heterotroph scp ge use maartare option a protozoa option b aspergillus option c yeast option d spirulina i got only one answer samrintaj of yeast option b na okay yes harshita option d padmayan option d harshita a option c scp full form is single cell protein single cell protein so protozoa dinda scp prepare agala aspergillus yeast and spirulina aspergillus matto spirulina avu autotrophs examples of autotrophs they prepare their own food so yeast is a example which is heterotroph and also used to prepare scp single cell protein so the right answer is here option c that is yeast yeast is a right answer fine see here yeast bacteria fungi and algae are used for the production of scp protozoa use madalla Which of the following processes is not involved in the industrial utilization of microbes? Kerala gade kerala one district process korte dare. Idhariyali yaav process na industrial utilization of microbes ke na wo include mar kora dalla. Option A laboratory scale process. Option B demagnetization. Option C manufacturing process. Option D pilot plant scale process. Option C. Badmayan option voted for option C. Harshita A option B. Yes, Anumanta Hosamani, what is your answer? Option D, ma'am. Option D. Okay. Kanchana Raj, option D. Option D. Auru. Java process na include mar kora dalna anta keli dare. Think over it. Only few answered correctly. Very common question. We have to use our common sense here. So when you see laboratory scale process, manufacturing process, pilot plant scale process, all these processes are involved in industrial utilization. Demagnetization no do. Yava ethylu microbes ke related dalla. Demagnetization andre you know removing the magnetic quality from the thing. Right. The process of destroying magnetism of a magnet is called demagnetization. So the right answer here is option B. option b d alla option b is a right answer 50th question which of the following is a container where fermentation is carried out fermentation yelli yava container alli carry maartare sludge eliminator bioreactor activator fermenter purvi answered as option d samrinta option b bio sorry option b she voted for padmayan option Uh, D. Yes, Harshita. Option D. So here we can vote for option D as well as option D. Okay. Then, how are microorganisms added in bioreactors? Option A directly mixed with the medium. Option B directly charged with the medium. Option C added on the surface of the nutrient medium. Option D by mixing them with pebbles. option c ma by mixing them with pebbles okay fine uh, some of them uh, voted for option c in chat 
that also option C is a right answer. Fine. So these are certain questions related to microbes in human welfare. You will get it around two to three marks, especially uh, uh, exactly two marks from this uh, chapter. Okay. In upcoming uh, days, I mean, on Monday, we are going to discuss human health and diseases concept. Human health and diseases. Okay. I hope the session is clear for everyone. A uh, any doubts? No, ma'am. Okay, then. Let us end up the session. Have a nice day. Take care. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.